In name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins so that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing, and that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put each to death those foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You receive the law as transmitted by angels, but you do not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground, ground, their, teeth, ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God in Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cry, cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him, into the, threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of the young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees, cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold the sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consecrated. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Our response is, Alleluia. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold for me to give me safely. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guard me. Alleluia. Into your hands I commend my spirit. And you will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your, of your mercy. Alleluia. Let your face shine upon your servants. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from plottings of men. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread that comes from God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ is the true bread that comes down from heaven, and all of us who believe in him will never die. We may die in the physical sense as leaving this earth and going to heaven, but our soul will never die. For those of us who truly believe in him, rely upon him always in every aspect in our lives. And as I was reading today's first reading, I was envisioning in my mind how they were stoning Stephen and how Saul was giving himself over to death. And that's why there was that long pause at the end. I try to place myself into the scripture reading itself or try to imagine what is happening at that moment in time. And sometimes 
it's kind of hard and you try to hold all that in while you're filming for uh, mass these days. But I try to live in that moment and vision what it is that they were going through in that moment in time. And at the same time, let us put ourselves at the foot of the cross and look up and see what it is our Lord was doing for us on behalf of us to save the world. My dear brothers and sisters, let us with one heart offer our prayers to the Lord. For the church as the body of Christ in the world may bless her and purify and unite her. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, may God grant them fortitude to raise above all that divides them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering religious or ethnic persecution, may God protect them from all human and prejudice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who, are, who will be baptized later this year, may God give them the strength to live out their baptismal promises. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they find a place in heaven in the eternal banquet of our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we now hold deeply in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers in which we have presented here before you. May they be answered in due time according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exultant church, and so you have given her cause for such great gladness. Grant also the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic host. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are unable to receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh an incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. 